having anxiety and depression is like being scared and tired at the same time. It's the fear of failure, but no urge to be productive. It's wanting friends, but hating socializing. It's wanting to be alone, but not wanting to be lonely. It's feeling everything at once, then feeling paralyzingly numb. It was only four months ago that I didn't care what happened to me. I had no desire to get out of bed, but at the same time, I wanted to work hard. I wanted to get things done, but I couldn't because Depression is a, it's a very strong chemical in your brain that feels so uncontrollable. Some days I would get out of bed and force myself to put some makeup on and then I would cry all of it off and end up back in bed. And it was like no one was inside me. Not too long before that, I was fine and talking about my goals and how I was going to do everything I could to reach them. I grew up a very strong-minded, driven type of person. And to suddenly not care what happened to me, to suddenly not care if I left this world. Is the darkest thing that has ever overcome me. But I'm here. And I've come a very long way. Your life can honestly change in a very short amount of time. I know that there's a lot of people that struggle with anxiety and depression and it feels like it's never going to change. But you got this. You'll look back one day and be so proud of yourself. Go ahead and look back already. You've already come a really long way. You've kept fighting. That's a huge thing. You've kept at it every single day. And that must mean that you believe in yourself. And that's all you need is to believe in yourself. if you truly believe in yourself, you can do anything you want in this world. So keep going. Every day, keep pushing forward. It might not seem like you're moving anywhere, but even if it's the slightest bit forward, that counts. I may not be depressed anymore, but I still have depressed thoughts come through my mind. And I do have to struggle with that fear of <laughs> wondering if one of these days I'm just going to give in to those thoughts and it's all going to start all over again. So let's start believing in the best, believing that we are strong, believing that we can push through, believing that we can be whoever we want to be and we can live that beautiful life that we think is just a fairy tale. Today it's really hard for me to vlog because I'm just not having a great day, but 
It's not like I'm gonna hide the fact that I have bad days. It's now 3.30 and I went and got myself some boba as a little self-care thing to go outside, get some fresh air, I went on a little walk. And I came back and got that self-portrait that I did last night edited, or at least the majority of it. I still am feeling not super great. And I think it's just lack of sleep and just stress. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, tell you guys that I'm doing good. I know that that was a bit um, of an emotional start to this vlog, but I, again, just want to show you guys that I'm human. I feel emotions. I feel sad sometimes. I feel frustrated. Right now, I'm just frustrated. Like, it's not necessarily that I'm sad today. I just feel very overwhelmed with my thoughts. And whenever I get overwhelmed with my thoughts, I remember back to the dark winter, is what I'll call it, and how I was the most overwhelmed with my thoughts at that time in my life. So it's it just brings back not so pleasant memories. So I got a little bit worked up today thinking about that, but I'm doing good, I promise, guys. So I had plans to go hang out with friends tonight, to go get ice cream, which is like my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> but I ended up canceling because I just... I think I'm at a point in my life where I'm prioritizing my growth in every aspect of my life. I just really want to reach my goals and people who are like the ultimate successful people, all of them had to sacrifice their social life. And I'm not saying that this is for everyone, it's definitely not. I was definitely against it for a long time. This is actually the first night that I did that. And it felt weird. Cause usually I would just be like, no, it's fine. Like I want to go see these friends. I haven't seen them in a while. Um, I'll find time to do these things later. But it was so weird. Instead I was like, no, I need to get this stuff done. Friends will always be there. You know, at least like my friends, they're super loyal. I have friends who understand my passion, they understand my drive, and it makes it so that they understand when I say I can't do something because they know I'm working really hard. So I'm very fortunate and very grateful to have friends that understand me and they support my life and the way that I'm going about it. So right now I am prepping to record another podcast episode. I have my notes jotted down and I think tonight I'm going to go ahead and talk about turning anger into gratitude because anger is one of the biggest things that I have struggled with my whole life. It's something that I still to this day struggle really badly with. I have a lot of anger built up just from my past and that's kind of like my coping mechanism is just being angry all the time. Um, my coping mechanism used to be um, making jokes all the time, like Chandler Bing in Friends. I used to literally be just like him. I think it was eighth grade through like sophomore year, I want to say, that I, that's all I did. I, was, I just was always sarcastic. No one ever knew when I was being serious. I was always cracking jokes, always making people laugh, but then I switched back to anger. I don't really know why. I kind of liked it when I was like the sarcastic person, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I don't know, but it's something that I've been working on for a long time. I have a lot of triggers. I was actually talking to Angel the other day and he was just being honest with me, but he said that I have triggers like every day, like every day something makes me mad and he's 100% right. 
Um, you know, and he was just like very nicely pointing out because we were talking about just like being more positive and stuff. And he's totally right. Every day there's something that makes me mad and it's tiring. And like, I know it. Every time I get mad, I, I get even more mad because I get mad at myself for getting upset about something that is just a waste of energy. But hey, they call it anger issues for a reason. It's because it's straight up an issue. It's something that you need to work on. So I know a lot of people struggle with this, especially people who have gone through trauma. It's very natural to be angry. So I wanna talk about just trying to switch that anger into gratitude. So I have my notes written down and yeah, I'm just trying to add a little bit more. I'm actually trying to think of a story. You good? <laughs> she just kind of whined. I'm trying to think of a story to tell with this, but I'm realizing that I have blocked out a lot of my past because I just don't want to think about it. But I've kind of been forced to start thinking about it more recently now that I'm getting into motivational speeches and whatnot, I feel like it's good to think about my past, you know? It's good to see where I've come from. And yeah, so just trying to come up with a story. And once I do, I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs. I will show you guys my setup for how I record these episodes. It is almost 10 p.m. So it is getting late and I still need to edit this vlog before I go to bed and then I have a very long day tomorrow. So I'm going to try to make this snappy, but again, I'm at a point in my life where I'm just prioritizing moving forward and growing and learning. So if I end up getting to bed really late, that is just what's going to happen. Sitting is definitely the hardest thing to do because I don't have like a proper chair and table. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's not fun right now. I sit on top of a plastic box um, with Angel's clothes to um, get me a little bit up higher, which I don't know if this is actually set up correctly yet. I'm going to have to check it out. but. This is um, my test shot. So it's now almost 11. It took me like an hour to get this all prepped, ready to go. Um, I didn't, I decided to not do a story. Instead, I, I'm just gonna go more in depth with what I was talking about. Um, I just feel like I don't really have a specific story. It's kind of all the same, you know? Like when it comes to anger, it's kind of just all the same. Um, so yeah. Anyway, the way that I do this is I record the audio on my computer and then I film here and I put the two together. Um, I will just edit the audio and, you know, add that to the podcast um, and then I use the footage to to I guess create little clips to put on social media and I use GarageBand to record I don't know if like what other people will use but that's what I use <laughs> yeah the way that I record is um, I actually I'll like kind of talk until I feel like I need to take a break, whether I need to take like a breather, because a lot of the times when I do solo podcast episodes, I kind of start to lose my breath because I feel like I have to talk so fast. It's something I'm working on. And then um, I also pause too because I just need to kind of like think about what else I want to say. So it's kind of nice when I'm doing it on my own because I get to go at the pace that I want to. I feel like when I have guests, it's a little bit more stressful because like you can't stop, <laughs> you know, like you just kind of are, you have to go with the flow when you have a guest, at least 
that's how I how I see it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. I'm I just want to wear something different because I think I wore this on in the last video. And then I'm going to just make sure that this is all set up and yeah, and then I'm gonna record. It wasn't easy. Wait, what well, wasn't easy? <laughs> Move on. Emotions are meant to come and go. Yeah, they are. I was. What the freak is the next line? <laughs> this is why I trying to memorize things. I just like to wing it. I hate when I hear people say, oh, they have anger issues. It's not their fault. That's bullshit. Heck yeah, it is.